This video describes a deployment and retraction sequence of the Space Station Work Package 4 Power System Solar Array designed and built by Lockheed Missiles and Space Company. The solar array is launched in the position shown here. Before the beginning of the deployment sequence, the solar array is unlatched from the Rocketdyne Integrated Equipment Assembly Mounting Structure and rotated on a four-bar linkage away from the truss structure. To begin the deployment, the astronaut will be positioned to look down at the tip fitting along the negative Z direction of the solar array coordinate system. The astronaut will remove the tethered pip pin holding the box in the stowed position. The pip pin will be stowed temporarily on the linkage bar. The astronaut will then use the tip cross member bar and a handhold on the pivot fitting to rotate the box outward 90 degrees. The lower locking strut will automatically snap closed when the box is in the fully deployed position. The astronaut will then replace the pip pin assuring that the upper blanket box is also locked in the deployed position. Successful operation is visually confirmed by the astronaut. Each blanket box will be rotated separately. The astronaut will need to translate three feet along the tip cross member to establish position for the second box deployment. During neutral buoyancy tests of the box deployment operation, LMSC demonstrated the controllability of the box motion and established a rotation time of approximately 25 seconds per box. The unlatching of one blanket box can now begin. During unlatching, the post-deployment tension mechanism is actuated and reduces the tension of the blanket tension distribution system. Simultaneously, the blanket restraint pins used to restrain the blanket during launch are released. Each pin provides visual indication of retraction by projecting a small tube out of the bottom of the box. Electrical confirmation of successful pin retraction and full unlatching is provided by limit switches. The second box is unlatched in the same manner. Once both boxes are unlatched, the solar array blanket is deployed by extension of the foldable articulated square truss mast, or fast mast, built by Able Engineering of Goleta, California. Guide wires are used to control the blanket motion throughout the deployment. During the last 18 inches of mast extension, the tension distribution bar is lifted out of the blanket box, providing five to 10 pounds of tension to each blanket. Full deployment is confirmed by limit switches on the fast mast. Once the mast is deployed to its full length, the blanket box latches are reversed and run to their fully stowed position. This allows the post-deployment tensioning system to apply the full 75 pounds of tension to each blanket. Confirmation of this operation is provided by the latch limit switches. The solar array is now fully deployed. The full unlatching and deployment sequence will require 15 minutes. One new space station solar array will supply 31.4 kilowatts to the space station power system. Each array contains 32,800 eight centimeter by eight centimeter solar cells supplied by Spectrolab of Silmar, California. Honeywell of Durham, North Carolina, provides three deployment and retraction motors. Other major subcontractors are Solid State Devices of La Mirada, California, McGann Newsel of Carpinteria, California, and Sheldahl of Northfield, Minnesota. The retraction of the solar array begins with the release of tension in the blanket. To accomplish this, the latches are driven to their unlatched position, thereby activating the post-deployment tensioning mechanism. This action also positions the latches in the unlatched state, so they are ready to relatch the box once the array is retracted. Confirmation of this operation is provided by the latch limit switches. Once tension is reduced, the mast begins the retraction of the solar array. 
The guide wires are again required to control the blanket panels during retraction. In addition, springs embedded in the blanket assembly ensure that the solar array folds in a controlled fashion. The completion of this operation is confirmed by the mast limit switches. The blanket box assembly is designed to relatch. This is required to allow for blanket box ORU changeout during repair missions. The motor drive assembly, through the over center latch linkage, applies compression to the blanket. Simultaneously, the post deployment tensioning system applies the full tension load to the tension distribution system, thereby securing it within the box. Note that the blanket restraint system pins are not reinserted as they are only required during the launch environment. The solar array is now fully stowed and ready for orbital maintenance and subsequent deployment. Lockheed has designed the Space Station Freedom Array to deploy and retract 35 times during its 15-year life. Lockheed is proud to be a major contributor to the Space Station Freedom Program and to be a part of the NASA and Rocketdyne Work Package 4 team.